Good morning, YouTube, my precious brothers and sisters. Very important message, the most important message that I have ever put out on my YouTube channel. So I want you to stay with me. Stay with me throughout this video. It is Tuesday, September 29th, 2015. I'm going to begin. I'm going to have my coffee. Let me know what you're going to share with PD. But whatever you do, please stay for this very important message to the church today of Jesus Christ. All right, I want to go to announcements very quickly. We are going to have our tiny chat, Rapture Ready Church, this evening rather than tomorrow at our normal time on Wednesday. I will be busy tomorrow when we're going to have a special tiny chat service tonight, 7 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, our praise and worship. And our live chat room opens at 6.30 p.m. this evening. And 7 o'clock, I will come to you live, tinychat.com forward slash Pastor Dave. I'll do another video to remind you uh, in a little while and before tonight's very important service. Very important message. Very, the most important message that I have ever delivered on my channel. Coming up. Ministry announcements. I want to get caught up here for September 26th. I want to thank a very precious, wonderful sister by the name of Samantha White for a gift to our homeless and outreach ministry of $33.33 and for September 27th I want to thank Elizabeth for a gift to our ministry and outreach to the homeless of $20 and I will put the link below if the Holy Spirit moves you to support our ministry now for my message the most important message I have ever put out on YouTube and I share this on my Facebook page this morning. And let's go here now. Non-believers, the lost, those that are living in sin, those who need hope, those who need to know Jesus, those who need salvation and everlasting life, do not go to Christian Facebook pages, Christian social media websites, or Christian YouTube channels. Why? because there are no disciples. No one is talking to them. And when a few non-believers do take a peek, it's an embarrassment to a holy God. What do they see? What do they read? Christians ministering to born again Christians. Rapture parties, rapture watchers, rapture cheerleaders. They see or read about Christians fighting, infighting, who's right, who's wrong, where is the rapture? There is a rapture. No, there is no rapture. It's my great escape. No, you will be tortured. You will be tortured in the great tribulation. The lossy, born again believers paralyzed in fear, fear of mega quakes, tsunamis, floods, comets, asteroids, death and destruction, gloom and doom. And they witness pastors promoting this fear. A supposed man of God scream the apocalypse. They see Christians following all this frantically, searching the internet for the next disaster, posting articles on every earthquake, on every earthquake map. Blood Moon Tetrads, Shemitahs, Harbingers, judgment will fall. ISIS will come and kill everyone. But what really is the turning point for the non-believer and the point that turns them off and turns them away is Christians against Christians, backbiting, attacking lying, accusing, false accusations, being judged for how you look, what you wear. You're damned to hell if you like baseball, football, sports of any kind. Your hair's too long. Your hair's too short. You have no hair. If you watch a movie, you're damned. If you like Bruce Springsteen, you're going to hell. Oh, and the whispers and gossip behind your backs. 
Look at his son. Look at her daughter. Look at how they're dressed. They must be into demons, vampires, devils. They make self-righteous videos saying, look at him. Look at her. God will get him. God will punish her. They're not as self-righteous as me. Well, they nitpick and find fault, but fail to look in the mirror. Oh, and let's not forget the encouragement. Christians encouraging Christians. It's okay. You're okay. Jesus is coming. It's your great escape. Your ticket out of here. But something's missing, Church of Jesus Christ. Where's the message to the unsaved? To turn from sin. Where's the message of repentance? The message to them of hope. Forgiveness. A better way. A new life in Jesus Christ. It got lost. The message got lost when it became all about you. Did the disciples preach to one another? Did they whisper and gossip behind each other's backs? Did they break the commandments of God and lie? Did they spread fear among each other? Did they judge each other for how they looked or dressed? Did they make videos about Jesus? Look, Jesus turned the water into wine. He must be a drunk. No, they went to where the sin is. They preached hope to the hopeless, but their hope is in Jesus Christ. They went where no man dare go, into the lion's den, into the fiery furnace. They were beaten, stoned, put in prison, crucified upside down to spread the gospel of salvation. What's become of the church that was once called the Church of Jesus Christ? My Jesus weeps. No wonder the non-believers run from us, from our pages and our videos. It's the same reason so many left the church and left religion altogether. This is not the church Jesus built. It's an embarrassment to a holy God.